Hello and welcome back to Altec TV. Today we have our unboxing first look at Silverstone's TDO2 all-in-one 240mm water cooler. Now it's 45mm thick, 240mm uh, long and it is a pretty gorgeous cooler and we'll get into the unboxing in a second. But I just want to say this is, uh, I believe, Silverstone's second attempt at water cooling. They did have the TDO1, uh, I believe, which was... Uh, back in the day, years and years ago, it was one of them uh, water coolers where it was kind of like a kit that you put together. Um, so not an all-in-one, but an all-in-one kit. Uh, Cooler Master and all of those other companies kind of did the same. Um, but yeah, now we've got the TDO2 and TDO3 from Silverstone. Uh, here is our unboxing of Silverstone's TDO2 cooler. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Then I'm going to put the stock fans on and then I'm going to show you what it looks like with Silverstone's AP123 fans which are their new blue fans that they've uh, recently released back in 2013. So let's go in and take a look at the TDO2 in our unboxing. So here we've got the front of the box now that just shows you uh, basically the prettiest parts of the cooler which is uh, their all-in-one kind of aluminium um, unibody block which is kind of a unibody but also not and then you've got your uh, radiator down there. Now it does have the um, best features or the most important features of the TDO2 but I'm not going to focus too much on the box um, I'm just going to show you around a bit so uh, here we have all of the specs so if you want to pause and it's, um, go full screen and read all that then you can do. Here gives you uh, all of your dimensions for every single individual piece so it's 31 centimeters long for the tubing. Um, you've got obviously dual 240 mil with a 280, or essentially 280 mil uh, full length of the block, um, 45 mil thick, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in depth into that. I'll leave that for the review. Uh, we've got some more pictures there, and then if we go around to the back, um, really again special features like you saw on the front but in other languages uh, such as you know French, Spanish, Italian um, that kind of stuff so let's get it open and let's, let's see what's inside so you've got the manual here which uh, split into Intel and AMD it seems very very simple um, and then we have what do we have uh, we've got two fans so I can't remember the name of these fans, um, I'll have to get back to you on that, I'll put the, the name of them somewhere on screen uh, in a second, but you get two of them, uh, they're essentially they're kind of static pressure um, optimised fans, but also they don't seem to be fully optimised, uh, so if you wanted you could use them as just standard case fans, uh, if you weren't going to use them on the cooler, and then we have a a little box here which has back plate, screws, thermal paste and then um, fan splitter and then what I can only assume is uh, your mounting bits for the front for the actual um, block for AMD I can only assume uh, so you've got them, and then we have the all-in-one cooler itself, so I'll get this out of the box. And I assume there's nothing I don't know. Nope. So we'll put that to one side. And we'll take this out of its packaging. So we have block here. I don't want to remove this just yet because I want to leave that on just for now, but you've got your copper block there. As you can see, that's where you'd remove these air mounting points to put them ones on. You've got your silverstone top there, which at first, when I first saw the pictures, I thought, hmm, could be a little nicer, but now in person, I have to say, it does look absolutely gorgeous. I, I definitely like the fact that on Silverstone products like this, uh, when they use the Silverstone logo because it's a hexagon, it just works and there's no kind of top or bottom. You can put it any way you want and it will 
still work. You can even put it on an angle here um, and it is still kind of works uh, because you've got all of the, the corners. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of shiny on the sides, brushed on the top and I'll try and put that to one side even though it's still connected and let's we'll get the heat sink out. So the actual fins painted black and it looks to be a very good job. Um, most people wouldn't recommend painting all the way through because uh, it interferes with heat but I I think they might have done and it, it looks gorgeous. Uh, they haven't used kind of a standard fin design uh, which I will show in the full written review. And you've got the sides there. You can definitely see it's, it's thicker than a 30mm uh, one. So it's 45mm, so it's one and a half times as thick. Um, which is definitely going to make up for any any um, loss in efficiency through painting it. Uh, so yeah, that is that. These white areas um, at the end, these bits of plastic. Uh, gloss plastic. They feel a lot cheaper than the rest of the product, but they work for some reason. They, they just do. Um, yeah. Show you the end. So we've got that. And the other end is all plain. These aren't. Um, they look, these end bits look to be slightly, slightly brushed, but it's more kind of dotted in, in their look. So they're, they're not completely like brushed in the same way the top is. Um, they look a lot smoother than that. And you can notice there is a slight color difference between uh, the center and the ends. So like you saw in earlier, 31 centimeters from this point to this point. Um, so yeah, that is the TDO2 on its own. Now I'm gonna pause it, come back to you with these fans screwed on, and then come back to you after that with bunch of AP 123s on so I'll put them on and I'll get back to you so here we have it with the stock fans on now uh, on photos these fans do actually look kind of flimsy uh, but they're a lot stronger than I expected them to be especially considering the size uh, they they don't bend that much that's just it, it moving from uh, the fluid in the hub um, but the, the blades don't actually uh, bend that much like I would expect from uh, blades this thin. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like with stock fans on. I'll just give them both a spin. And now what I'm going to do is put my favourite fans at this current point because of their colour on this and then show you what it looks like with them on uh, and show you what it could potentially look like if you're going for a blue and white and black uh, colour theme which I am going for so I'm going to take these off and I'm going to show you what it looks like with the AP 123s on so here's what it looks like with AP 123 fans on and these are my favourite fans uh, just because the colour, the colour is exactly the same as Haltech TV's colour uh, Hash 39BDFF if you want to uh, get a good idea of what our colour is uh, So this is the heatsink with blue fans on Specifically the AP123s Now if you wanted, you obviously you can put uh, fans on both sides and push pull uh, or if you wanted you could just have them in pull but I do like to show off the fans so that's why I'd have them in uh, push and maybe push pull um, 
depending on, on what we end up going with. Uh, so yeah, that is the TD-02 with AP-123 fans on. I'm going to put my face back on the camera and I'm going to say goodbye. So that was our unboxing and first look at Silverstone's TD-02 240mm water cooler. Now we will be producing a vid, uh, written, written review on this product and we might produce a video review, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but that will be after we've done our build project on this, uh, including this particular uh, water cooler. And that's going to be quite a big project um, on a mini ITX platform. Uh, so keep looking out for that if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so that you get the videos on that project as soon as they come out. Or head over and bookmark, bookmark Haltech TV's uh, website as all our reviews and content is on that website and you will get uh, the most up-to-date content uh, by going to our website. But other than that, I'm Hal Thompson, you've been watching another Haltech TV video. Please don't forget to subscribe, go over to the website and bookmark it, and goodbye.